If you've been following my channel lately, and uh, I believe there are still a handful of you out there who do and who haven't rage quit yet, which is utterly amazing because I can't for the life of me understand why anybody would put up with an asshole like me, but some of you seem to find me amusing enough to watch the occasional video I post. Hi there! Nice to see you still around. Anyway, if you are still subscribe to me if you are still following the videos that I post, then you will have noticed that I've been rather dismissive lately of this insane cult that has been rearing its head here on YouTube and that calls itself antinatalism. The cult members are a peculiar brand of self-pitying butthurt fools who think that they can browbeat everybody else into accepting their gloomy outlook on life. And the sort of rationale that is being presented to support their point of view is laughable, to say the least. But a number of these people apparently were subscribed to me and have since rage quit. And um, yeah, I can't help but think how peculiar it is that these people subscribed to somebody like me if now they consider me to be such an asshole, which undeniably I am. But I have always made it very clear that I am taking a zero-tolerance approach to nonsense. And of course, maybe that is the reason why these people originally subscribed to me, because a lot of people in the antinatalist cult call themselves atheistic in some way, shape or form, and of course, maybe they found it amusing to see my zero tolerance approach to nonsense being applied to things such as creationism, for example, or the ontological proof for some god thingy. Yeah, that's, uh, I'm sure that's quite uh, funny to see, or even my videos in which I take the piss out of these doomsday prophets who think they can predict the end of the world or some huge cataclysmic event at a certain date in the future. And maybe a number of these people subscribed to me because they thought that was hilarious to watch. And suddenly I am pissing in your pool and it's not so funny anymore. But the basic principle behind my videos remains the exact same. It's a zero tolerance approach to nonsense. I am the sort of person who will stand at the garden gate, looking down the garden path, and point-blank refuse to follow any imbecile down there who thinks that in the heart of their insanity, way down the garden path, there is some great truth to be found. No, sorry, I look at the original statements that are being presented, upon which a certain edifice is being built, and if the bold assertions that somebody presents as their a priori assumptions don't make sense to me if I'm not buying into them I will point-blank refuse to follow the logic I'm not going there I am the sort of person who looks at one of the most important logical tautologies that you can employ when you're dealing with insanity is the tautology of false implies P and P stands for any sort of proposition that you might come up with any statement within a logical system. So once you have a state that equates to a falsehood, then any statement P that follows should be considered valid within that context. In plain English, when it comes to logic, once you are in La La Land, you are irredeemably consigned to La La Land. Once you're in Crazy Town, you will forever remain in logical crazy town. There is no escape other than to go right back to your premises and ditch some of them. And that's why I will point blank refuse to go down the garden path with any form of stupidity, including antinatalism. The reason I'm making this video, however, is because I want to make you aware, there are still a few of you who aren't, of somebody who is not afraid to do this, who is not afraid to follow the insane down the garden path into the heart of their dementia and to then shine the harsh light of reality onto what he finds there. And that person is Andy, or his YouTube name is Annie Cantavad. 
He has made a series of videos that he's titled Antinatalism and Depression and he's currently on video number 42. I kid you not. He has made 42 videos already about the topic of antinatalism and depression and there's no sign of him stopping yet. And you might think that that will be a series of 42 videos full of tedious repetition and you would be sadly mistaken. mistaken. Every one of those 42 videos takes a completely new and different angle to looking at antinatalism and most importantly, most importantly it is looking at it from the inside out. He has taken the bull by the horns, he has gone down the garden path right to the heart of the insanity and he's exposing it for what it is from in there. It's an amazing series of videos. Like I said, it's 42 videos, so be prepared for the long haul if you haven't already been following them. But man, is it worth your while. So that's my recommendation for the day. Any kind of ad, go check it out.